Just yesterday, Meta AI just dropped Llama 3.1, the best open source AI model that is on par with closed source models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet as well as GPT-4 Omni. It completely beats GPT 3.5 as well as GPT 4 on many benchmarks and it even outpaces many closed source models and almost every open source model. Just take a look at this comparison graph of closed source models versus open weight models. We see that on the green dots they are the open source models versus the red dots that are closed source. You can see that the open source models are basically on par with GPT-4 as well as many of these newer models. And this basically showcases the performance of Llama 3.1's new model. Now, I made an in-depth video on Llama 3.1 yesterday, so I definitely recommend that you watch it. But in just, they came out with three models. Their 405 billion model is their flagship foundational model. That's basically on par with many closed source models and outpacing every open source model. You have 70 billion parameter model, which is their cost effective model. The 8 billion parameter model is their lightweight model that you can basically run almost anywhere. Now, in regards to code generation, these models are quite awesome in this particular area in comparison to other models. It's basically the one of the best open source models for coding. It outpaces many of these models and they're capable of being an AI copilot, code automation, code generation, and so much more. You can clearly see from the benchmarks itself. Under Human Evol and Evol Plus, you can see that all of these three different models under the Llama 3.1 family is basically on par or similar to what the performance is of GPT-4 Omni as well as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And in many cases, with the smaller models, it's outpacing these other models like Gamma 2, as well as relative to its relevance in parameter size. Now today, what we'll be doing is showcasing how you can pair the new Llama 3.1 LM to Aider. Aider is an AI pair programmer, which you can access in your terminal. It's a great pair programmer that enhances code generation, you can debug, and so much more. Now, I had actually made a video on 3.5 Sonnet being connected to Aider, and this is where I was able to showcase how you can develop a full stack application without writing any single code, which I definitely recommend that you watch. And today, in the same manner, I'm going to be showcasing how you can combine Llama 3.1 to Aider to create full stack applications without writing any sort of code. In this case, this is an open source model being connected to Aider which is basically connecting the best open source coding based model to that pair programmer to help us create any sort of application. So this is something that I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video. So I want you guys to stay tuned, make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, and let's get straight into the video. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts. AI consultants and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now if you're interested take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So let's get straight into it. There's a couple of prerequisites that you're going to need to fulfill. First things first, you need to make sure that you have Olama installed on your computer based off your operating system. Olama is where you're going to be running the large language model from. In this case, we have access to Llama 3.1 through Olama. This is how we're going to have the connection of the large language model to our pair programmer. Once you have Olama installed, make sure that you have Python installed as well as pip install. You can install it based off your operating system. And lastly, you need to make sure that you have Git installed. This is to basically make sure that you can clone the repository onto your computer properly. So once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, we can then proceed forward. What you want to do next after you install Olama, as well as all these other prerequisites, you want to then go back into olama.com's library. And that's by simply just searching up the model and searching up Llama 3.1. Now, what you can do next is then you want to basically copy the olama run llama 3.1 command and you can basically select it for the model that you would want so if you're going to be installing the 70 billion parameter model you would want to select this 
and then copy the 70 billion parameter model command. If you are going to be doing the 405 billion parameter model, which I definitely don't recommend for a small grade computer, uh, you can just simply click on this and then copy this command. In this case, I'm just going to showcase the 8 billion parameter model because it's quite nifty and it's something that could get the job done for smaller coding based models. And this is something that you can deploy anywhere. So copy this. And then what I want you to do is open up your command prompt. After you have Olama opened up, if you do not know how to do this, you just simply search up Olama the application, just open it up and you should see the small little Olama icon over here opened up. Once you do that, you want to just paste in the Olama run Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model. This is going to start pulling and start downloading the model. You can see that there's a progress bar and it tells you how big the actual model size is. In this case, it's a 4.7 gigabyte model. The 70 billion one is a 40 gigabyte and the 40, 405 billion parameter model is a 231 gigabyte model. Now, in my opinion, if you're going to be running that larger model, I definitely recommend that you set up Olama on a server so that you can set up an AWS instance that is able to host that. If you need more information on that, I can leave a link to that in the description below so that you can set it up. So let this install. Once it does that, we can then proceed forward with the next step. Next up, you want to go back to the docs and I can also leave a link to this in the description below. And what you want to do is copy this command pip install ADR chat and then you want to go back into your command prompt you can actually test this out to see if the model is working so you can just simply press in high and you can see that the model is fully functional now we can close this we can then open up another command prompt and what we can do now is just simply install ADR onto our computer with this pip install command so click enter and this is what is going to start installing the actual framework onto our desktop so now that we have ADR installed, what we need to do next is basically have our open Llama or our old Llama API base set to this local host. To do so, if you're on Windows, you would copy this command over here and you can just simply paste it into your command prompt. But if you're on Linux and Mac, you would just use the export command to do so. So once it has basically pasted in, once I pasted that in, I got this command which says success specified value was saved. Now the next command is going to be starting up Olama with ADAR. So what we can do is just copy this first bit of the command, paste this in, and then we want to specify our model, which is Llama 3.1 colon 8B. And then you can click enter. And there you go. You can start chatting with ADAR now, and you can basically request it to do anything you would like. Let's first start off by generating a UI component. So let's generate in UA8. Uh, button and within a couple seconds you can see that it's going to start creating this so you can see that it's going to focus on creating a new file and you can click yes if not you can click no in this case i'm going to add it to a new file html to get and i'm going to then use that new file to basically access this generation and there you go my simple button was created a click me button and this is just an html online viewer but you can see that the llama model was able to generate this button with the help of ADAR. now let's actually generate something more complex let's generate ui components for a SaaS website this is something that i really wanted to create with the help of llama 3 to test out how it's able to build out fully functional applications so let's proceed with this example can you please generate a sleek and modern website for my SaaS company called world of ai make sure there is a pricing plan and more information that is needed for the SaaS website so now i'm going to generate this and let's see what it's going to be able to do and look at that i copied the code all the way back into an html online viewer and this is the site that was generated now obviously certain components are not the best yet which is why i didn't really iterate further on it because it would spend i would have to spend a lot more time to configure certain components such as the features making into a block as well as adding a banner but you can see that the base structure of a modern website was easily generated and this was something that i did with an open source model that's only just eight billion parameters now imagine what the 405 billion parameter model is capable of doing if the 8 billion parameter model is capable of generating this basic website now i definitely recommend that you go through and you look through what this model is capable of i honestly recommend that you try setting up the old llama server 
with Ader combined with AWS or with any other cloud provider so that you can basically have Ader running with this pair programmer that can utilize the 405 billion parameter model. And that's about it for today's video. This is how you can pair Llama 3.1, which is the newest meta AI model with Ader to basically transform the way you code. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below, but I hope that this video was very helpful and you got some sort of knowledge out of it. Uh, make sure you follow me on the Patreon because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.